binti Rahimah Bima taratai Bima taratai tu Ma Alayhi Min Ma Bin Mahar Bina Mahar Qabiltu Bika Nafsi Bida Barakallahu Alaikum Over his construction site, and that's how I got to meet him. First, we're working together, and then we before we took over, and then campus. Yes, we made some cake. I made some cake because you bought it with textbooks. <laughs> yeah, cake to say thank you, and then after that. We worked with each other again at a different company. But this time he liked me. Well maybe he liked me since the start, I don't know. Yeah, she was always really nice. Always. I like the smile. The smile always included me. Always. It's actually the first thing I put my attention. He came to my work, the new workplace and the first thing he asked me was, where do you make that up? So <laughs> and that's not something I can easily find. I could make him laugh because I'm a very serious person, but for some reason he laughed for whatever I said, which is not meant to be a joke, but for some reason he laughed. And I like that. going to walk the journey of marriage, then the only way to truly be successful is that if you walk it with Quran and Sunnah. And so we're going to talk only about two or three things of Quran. Allah Ta'ala says, and in this morning sermon of the Nikah, it, one of the ayat was, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu ittahullah. So it is a reminder firstly to myself and then Rahima as my beloved daughter. Ittaqullah. Be conscious of Allah in every single little thing that you do. And so today is a most beautiful day of bliss and joy and happiness. Be conscious of Allah. And marriage is going to ask of you to even be a lot more selfless is going to ask of you to be a lot more giving and forgiving. It doesn't work. In the challenges that you will face, be conscious of Allah. So treat 
my new beloved son, Tari. Treat him with the generosity of spirit I know you have. Treat him with love and respect. And honor him as he would, I know, honor you with love and respect.